Okay, our last subject for today is history. So we are on pages 212 through 217. You want to have out your history book and your practice, page 34, okay? So this is called From Farm to Table. In other words, how does your food go from the grower to the eater, okay? So let's start reading it together on page 212. You see an orange grove, okay? It says the Cavazos family owns an orange grove or farm in California. The oranges are raw materials. Raw materials are resources used to make a product. The Cavazos sell some of their oranges to markets. A market is a place that sells food. So you go and you buy oranges. They also sell oranges to places where oranges are turned into juice. Many people are needed to pick the ripe oranges. The Cavazos family hires migrant workers to help. I note, uh, made note here that migrant workers are workers or people that move from farm to farm, like migration, migrant. That's where that comes from. They go from farm to farm, and as long as there's work, then they stay there, and then when that work is done, they go to another farm. Now, we've talked about this before, about a man named Cesar Chavez. He's come up before. Some years ago, migrant workers were treated unfairly. We've talked about how that looked. A man named Cesar Chavez helped migrant workers in California. He started a group now called the United Farm Workers of America. Today, this group makes sure that migrant workers are treated fairly. And the question is, what does Cesar Chavez do for migrant workers? Well, he started a group to make sure that migrant workers would be treated fairly. And then there's actually a picture of him in that little um, section there. Cesar Chavez talking to farm workers about their rights. Up until that point, they just did what they were told, whether it seemed fair or not. Next page. To the processing plant. This kind of a plant is not something that grows out of the ground. This is like a factory. After the fruit, the raw material is packed, the raw material that doesn't go to the market may go to a processing plant. It's a place where food is turned into a food product such as orange juice for the oranges. In this one, that's exactly what's happened. You see number one, what's going on? The fruit is being washed. Number two, it's being juiced. The juice is being removed. It's being heated to kill any bacteria. And then it goes into the bottles, okay? Uh, at the processing plant, the oranges are first washed and, and sorted. Next, the juice is squeezed from the oranges and the orange juice is heated, is heated to make sure it is safe to drink. Last, it is poured into plastic bottles to be used. And the question is, how is food uh, changed at the processing plant? Well, it goes from the raw material into the product that we are going to use, right? And the fast fact says in 1873, well over 100 years ago, Eliza Tibbetts planted two naval, two naval orange trees in Riverside, California. And one of those trees still grows there to this very day. That's pretty cool. Next page. Now we're going to the market and the word distributor is coming up. The orange juice is finally ready for the market. A distributor is, as you see that man there, takes a food product from the processing plant to the market. He is called the distributor or the middleman. He's between the farmer and the customer. Food is moved to markets in many ways. Trains or large trucks might deliver the orange juice to places around the United States. Oranges and juice might be sent to another country and that would require a ship or an airplane. All of these kinds of transportation, of course, are refrigerated to keep the food fresh. The next page says food distributors, the person who's doing the distributing, make it possible for farmers like the Cavazos to get food from their farm to the market. And then people everywhere can enjoy orange juice from oranges grown in California. The summary, let's read together. A crop goes through many steps 
at different places before it becomes food on your table, right? Okay, let's take a look at page 34. And in your practice pages, I'm gonna get rid of all this. And it is called Processing Tomatoes. So instead of oranges, we're looking at tomatoes. And of course, you know a tomato is a raw product, right? It grows on a vine. And is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Ask your parents, see what they say. And then come back and tell me how many of your parents said it was a fruit. Good, because they're right. A fruit is the food that has the seed on the inside. A lot of people think of tomatoes as being vegetables because they think, well, you put it in your salad, you make pasta and spaghetti with it. But if it has the seed in it, it is considered a fruit. Okay, it says, and my words are so tiny, I've got to get up close. It says, complete the steps, add words or pictures to show how fresh tomatoes become canned tomatoes. Okay, if they gave you the words, then you draw the pictures. If they gave you the picture, you write the words. So the first one, step one. Are there... Yeah, step one, they give you the words. It says, a farmer grows tomatoes. So you could draw a picture of someone in a field of tomatoes, okay? You can draw a farmer. You guys are probably better than I am, but anyway, wanna put a big hat on him to keep the sun out of his face, right? Okay, so there's the farmer. You want to put, whoa, he's shaped very strangely. I think Kennedy could do better than I'm doing, actually. So I'm just going fast. You guys go ahead and take your time. Maybe I'm going to put overalls on him, something like that. So he's got these big overalls. He's got these boots to protect his feet. However, that you guys decide to do that. Okay, so you do a farmer. He probably should have some ears and maybe he's got some hair. Alrighty, and he, uh, I don't have all the colors, but you can uh, draw some bushes. Maybe there's some vines, however you want to do it. Full of what? Tomatoes. You had green, you could draw some vines. So you just go ahead and do the picture of the farmer uh, growing tomatoes. And then step number two actually has the picture. What is going on there? It looks to me like a truck is bringing tomatoes to the processing plant, right? Because that does not look like a grocery store. So maybe you can write for number two, a truck and if you want to send me a picture of your completed work I'd love to see it brings the tomatoes to a processing plant to be processed into spaghetti sauce, canned tomatoes, whatever they're going to do. A truck brings the tomatoes to the processing plant. You can color the picture, that would be awesome. Okay, number three tells you a worker sorts the tomatoes by size. So once again, you can draw a worker, this time not a farmer, and maybe in this box go the big, nice, big tomatoes or something. And in this box, maybe are the little tomatoes, okay? You can put their little greenery. So he's sorting them by size. So you go ahead and interpret that how you want to as far as your drawing goes. I'm gonna keep moving. So of course, you'll go back and finish this when I'm done or you just pause me. 
All right, so step three. So first of all, the farmer is the one who is growing the tomatoes and maybe he has some migrant workers that pick the tomatoes that load them in the truck and then the truck brings the tomatoes to the processing plant. The process, people who work at the processing plant are probably washing and sorting them according to size. Step four, you need to add a picture and it says a worker packs canned tomatoes into boxes. So here you can draw somebody who's working and maybe once again, you've got yourself a box. Remember how we did that 3D? Got yourself a box, he's standing there. And then maybe you can draw some of the cans, right? Maybe you could draw a picture of a tomato on the cans. I don't have green. Maybe you can even write sauce or something, however you want to do that, okay? Maybe the outside of the box could say tomato sauce or something. You can always add more pictures, okay? With the person doing that. And then the last one gives us a picture. We need to write the sentence. What's going on here? It looks like the boxes are loaded onto a truck. And where is that truck going? That truck would be going to Safeways, Winco, Costco, to the market, right? The boxes are loaded onto a truck. So for the last one, is that number, they even give you a number, five. You can copy the boxes are loaded onto a truck, period, okay? And then of course you can color that picture if you'd like to. So that's the way it goes from the farm to the processing plant where it gets sorted, washed, and turned into whatever it will become. And then it gets put in cans and the boxes are loaded onto the truck and that truck will go off to the market, okay? So go ahead and finish that up, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Talk to you later, bye-bye.